Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where today I am cleaning and restoring the roads to the roof. I'm going to be using this fabric roof restoration kit from Autoglim. It's priced around 25 to 30 pounds from Amazon, Halfords, etc. It seems to be a popular one. Let me know your preferred cleaning kit in the comments below. Before I set about cleaning and protecting it, I do need to give it a good wash with the jet wash and also hoover out as much of the rubbish as possible. When you're using a jet wash, don't be overly aggressive with the roof because you don't want to get water down here where it can seep in and possibly damage your CCM. Let's get it cleaned. Walking around my hood before we start, you can see it is covered in the usual detritus from the trees, such as seeds, leaves, lichen, etc. And also a healthy or rather unhealthy splattering with bird poop. It's bad for paintwork and it's just as bad for your cloth hood as it stains and bleaches the fabric. So my advice is to remove that as soon as possible. My hood does not suffer from the usual green algal problems, even though I live in a rather damp climate, but the cleaning products would normally take care of that anyway. I can see from a previous owner they have got a little too handy in places by scrubbing the hood far too hard, which has created these shiny spots. No amount of cleaning is going to solve that unfortunately, but the stains and general cleaning should address a lot of the hood condition and make it look considerably better. First up is the vacuuming. Get all of the loose material off the hood and away from the area at the rear that meets the bodywork. The more junk you can remove now, the better. You could use a new microfiber cloth or a fine bristle brush to gently loosen any fine particles or lightly rub your hand over the hood. Refrain from scrubbing. Scrubbing is bad and it creates those shiny spots. Once you're all vacuumed off, you should instantly notice an improvement. So that's the vacuuming of the roof done. It already looks loads better. Areas like this with dirt, spots, we can focus on in a little while. Next, let's get the jet wash on this and give it a very light cleaning. Without directing the pressure washer straight at the hood, I give it a good wash. No detergent at this stage, just water. I don't want to introduce anything to the hood other than the correct cleaning products. Working across the hood, this will lift and remove the surface debris and dirt. Again, be careful not to get any water around the base of the hood where it joins the bodywork. If you force it in here, it can sit in the roof void and damage the CCM, the climate control module that controls the various electrics like windows, door locks and stops these working. The CCM is located here in the roof rear void under the carpet with these handy cutouts to check condition. Once you've given the hood a good soaking, you can lightly dab any stains with a microfiber cloth, but refrain from rubbing on an area. You'll notice that the roof is wet. Sounds obvious, doesn't it? But the material should not be holding water like that. One of the treatments we will apply later is a water repellent, and I was shocked just how good this worked. With the roof still wet, I'm going to get to work on it with the first bottle from the kit, which is the soft top cleaner and the white foam sponge that is included in the pack. But I need to get this in the garage and out of direct sunlight before I do so. Right, the car is inside and there are still a few marks, even though I have treated them up close with the soft top cleaner. So I need to dampen the hood once more. And once I've dampened the hood, I'm going to spray half the contents of this bottle as directed onto the hood and work any really troublesome spots with a damp sponge. Now this sponge is included and work those areas. So half of this bottle, give it a good shake first. It does suggest to mask off the bodywork. You don't want to get it on the bodywork. I'm not going to do that because it's in the garage, it's nice and still, and I can be quite accurate with the spray, so I'm not going to get it on the bodywork. And then let's give it a go. It was a warm day at the weekend. If you can see, the water is steaming off the hood. Get the hood damp and then start applying the soft top cleaner and use the included sponge gently over the whole roof. Again, avoid a scrubbing motion. The contents of the bottle suggest using half of this in one application to the roof. Once you have it evenly applied and the cleaner starts to foam up, Leave it a good five minutes to work its magic before you set about it once again with the pressure washer to gently remove the liquid and hopefully dirt from the fabric. I would advise that you are very thorough when you are rinsing to remove all detergent. If you do not get rid of it all, it will affect the waterproofing of the sealant when we apply this shortly. So this hood has now been cleaned with the cleaning solution. 
majority of the marks are gone. Still some very slight marks here and there, but it's much better than it was. And it has a real uniform black appearance to it now compared to what it did have. Just the general grime is gone. So we're going to get down to protecting this now and adding the protecting treatment. The roof's still slightly damp. I'm going to use the soft top protector, which is the second bottle in the package. And this is being applied by evenly squirting it across. And it says use about half the bottle on the roof. So I'm going to do that now, get the roof protected. And you mustn't drive it till it's dry, apparently. Well, I haven't got to worry about that today because it's really dry outside. But the roof's looking good. So let's get it applied. And the principle of this is that when we drive in the wet, it will repel the rain and it will protect it from getting stained and marked in the future. Let's see how we get on. And it does say on the bottle to remove any overspray from the windows and the paintwork, so we will do that afterwards. What's quite annoying about this bottle is the kit is probably two years old and sat in the garage, but it hasn't been used and already the spray seems to have failed on it. Now the, you can feel it, it's still full, but there's no spray coming out. So I think I'm gonna to have to change the nozzle on this one from the other bottle. Give it a little squirt to make sure there's nothing coming out that's the wrong chemical. So we're all good to go again now. Now interestingly, that that nozzle's also gone the same. A little update for you. Autoglim have updated this cleaning kit and done away with the sprays and they now include an extra sponge so that tells me those sprays have had negative feedback elsewhere. I'm now going to take a damp cloth and wipe off any overspray on the window. Again off the bodywork. The bodywork could do the clean anyway to be honest. Leave that to dry and that is one sealed and protected hood. Let's get it outside and see how much better it looks already. So let's get a good look at this cleaned hood up close. Make sure you leave it out of direct sunlight when you are waiting for the sealant to dry. The dark and even black colour has returned to the roof and the grime is all gone. Sure, it still has the shiny spots, but there is not an awful lot I can do about that. The things that can be sorted are the cleanliness and waterproofing which has improved immensely, as I will show shortly. There is no trace of the ground in dirt and the bird poop marks have vanished also. Wow, what a completely transformational look this cleaning kit has given to the road to the roof. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. One more test to do though, I'm gonna get some water, we'll pour it on the roof and let's watch it fingers crossed, feed off rather than soak through. Oh yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but just watch this. On the whole, water is just beading off, but leaving the occasional wet drip mark, so maybe I needed to apply more sealant or have given the bottle a better shape before starting. I'm putting that hood clean down as a good job jobbed and these auto glim products certainly do do a good job. Applying a liberal coat of the protector I think is essential to give a uniform waterproof layer. I'm really pleased with how the cleaner worked. It has removed a lot of those marks from the hood including the bird mark and of course all the leaf litter. If you like what you've seen today then please do give this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel if you've not already done so where you'll find a whole host of content on the Addy TT. As always thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.